Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG Basilisk in the snub nose condition. You know how Grandpa loves powerful guns. Well, you hit the enemy with a round out of this thing, and he's going to starve to death bouncing. So let's take a quick look at the configuration. The S40 Rapid Loader. Look at the damage. 210 to the head. It's a one-shot gack when you get them in the gourd. Upper torso, one-shot gack. Lower torso, 126 and 94 in the upper legs. The effective damage range, though, is 8.4 meters. So you've got to keep firing if they're out of that range. Minimum damage range is 42. Grandpa got a bunch of long shots with this weapon. Bullet velocity, 376.8. A little on the slow side, given that the effective damage range isn't that far. We should expect it. And I'm not even going to worry about the recoil. It just didn't happen. You fired, the thing comes back down. You fire again, you're on target. Hip fire, in terms of accuracy is outstanding at 2.7 degrees per second. If you're up close to somebody, you pull the trigger, I found they're going down. Mobility is outstanding too at 5.5 meters per second. Crouch movement speed, we don't sniff our feet. Sprint speed, 6.2 meters per second. Tack sprint, up at 7.4 meters per second. The ADS speed is a blitzed 112 milliseconds and the sprint to fire is something to write home about 45 milliseconds to start shooting and putting the enemy into la la land the basilisk ht7 trigger helps with the ads composite and the sprint to fire speed now you may wonder why i'm not using the bryson match grade doesn't really do anything. Look at that, 299.8 rounds per minute on the Basilisk HT7, 299.5 rounds per minute. And you're never gonna get to that number. The trigger just doesn't allow it. The SORO99 grip hurts the recoil, but like I said, throw that recoil number out. Don't worry about the red. Once more, it's there to try to trick grandpa. Handling, it helps with the composite speed, ADS and sprint to fire. The 500 grain, high grain, rounds extends the effective damage range to that 8.4 meters from 7.9. The minimum damage range and the bullet velocity, like I said, those red numbers in the recoil are there to lead you off the righteous path. And finally, the snubby barrel. Don't worry about the red. The thing is cool. You got to have it. You troll with it. It looks awesome. It's the whole reason for being being for this basilisk video is to go out there and troll people with the snubby helps with the movement and the handling hip fire accuracy this weapon is accurate you'll see that anybody inside of five meters when i pulled the trigger they went down like a bag of potatoes so let's take the basilisk onto the field of honor and see how it did for grandpa and see what it did to grandpa's enemies all right let's get into it we're free for all and with snubby the og basilisk and somebody's already trying to injure poor grandpa and grandpa injured himself with his own proximity mind can you see how that thing does with a hip shot just right up close it deletes the enemy sprint to fire is instantaneous around 40 milliseconds where are you gonna find that in another weapon oh oh you gotta hit him <laughs> hey come on grandpa maybe that one shouldn't make the final cut Look at there. I mean, that sprint to fire just deleted that guy with over 200 headshot damage. He didn't stand a chance. He didn't either. Of course, Grandpa didn't stand a chance. He, who, what is that guy, a soldier or an inflatable decoy? And you need to get moving. Grandpa is liking this weapon on the first free-for-all. I can't believe it doesn't get more more press and a little jump shot there Mission time is half over. coming around proceeding to the scene of my death probably there's there's a hit now that's one thing the reload doesn't seem to whoa, 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 whoa. I got forever but why don't I switch to my secondary which is an MCW with a jack kit 
Try to hold that guy off. See what he's shooting at. I see dead people. Reload, throw out a proximity, and Gakamo, that guy. I swear, this weapon, I think, is better at close range than a shotgun. And when I say close, close range, I mean immediate, because you got that immediate sprint to fire. Grandpa's a little thirsty for blood there. In a kind and Christian way. Actually, uh, that was a disgusting thing to say, huh? but it did say bloodthirsty. Now, sometimes when I'm shooting, I'll hold the controller wrong, so I throw out a proximity mine. That would have been a gack for Grandpa. There is an inflatable soldier. Somebody came after Grandpa for annoying the soldier there. Where are they? Somebody at distance, and we get a shot on them. And I don't even know what happened there. Proximity mine. Must have been. Okay, we spawn with a secondary, the MCW, and we have to switch. The, the only thing was that... You better be accurate with your shots because you only get five of them. And once they're gone, it's going to take you a while to reload that thing. Oh, that guy diving. He's about to get boom. Somebody put out a confuser. I can't see the mini map. I don't know what I'm going to do. Where'd that guy go? Oh, there he is. But wearing white. There he is, and somebody stepped on my proximity mine at the same time I bought the farm, but oh my word, I've killed myself twice in this game. Time's running out, 3 seconds, 26, it's going to be a win, but not a Snickers win. But you know what, I'll take it with a basilisk, hoo yeah. A little fence bump action, got to rub my beard. Analyze what happened on the last shot. One, two. So that was a torso shot. A little over 100 for one, at 100 roughly for another. Now we're taking it, taking our love to Grow House. One thing I did try to do was switch to commando gloves so that I could reload on the run, and they just didn't seem to work for me. What is that guy doing? Pushing up daisies. Yeah. Don't want to go down the outhouse. The bottom floor in an outhouse is never a good place to be. There were outhouses in a few houses when Grandpa was a little boy, especially out in the country. You don't want to go down in the basement of an outhouse because it's not a good situation. Where are these people? They're usually camped back here in free-for-all. Oh. That one, I did get the shot off, but I didn't get the second one off. Well, I'm going to chase this guy down. Shoot and move with this thing. Shoot and move. And then I think I should have been a little faster to switch to my secondary weapon, the MCW, than I was. But I wanted to get all of my kills uh, with a basilisk, which, there we go. Now I have time to reload. And you can see that the reload didn't work there. It just flat out didn't work because I moved a little bit. So the commando gloves weren't giving the grandpa any love. Go, my child, and do mosquito work. Another minor, minor bug. There's a proximity kill. Come on. We're running through Grow House. If it's such rocky terrain... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Snoop. Snoop. Why would you do that to me? There's Elephant Man. The great pink elephant running around. There he is again. Oop, 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 oop. 
Yeah, I was kind of down to one shot there, and I wasn't confident I'd get the gourd. Reload. See, it didn't reload. I still only have one shot left, and I think I've reloaded because I'm wearing commando gloves. So Grandpa is a casualty waiting to happen at this point. But I just happened to get a one-shot gag. The guy must have been injured. I don't know why I looked up in the sky to put out that thing. The mosquito. I like the ability to move fast, to shoot fast, and to get the one-shot head kills. If an enemy in free-for-all was in any way impaired, look at there. Boom, that's a one-shot kill. He went from full health to pushing up daisies. One shot. Look at that guy. I got carded. K-A-R-ded. Carded. Grandpa's too old to be carded. I'm like, oh, there's a swing and a miss twice. I got two strikes on me. I might as well just pull out the MCW. Don't want to strike out at the plate there. There's a long shot, one shot kill on the head. Oh, I just stood there and watched the grenade derez my pixels. They made me blurry. I had to respawn. There we go, Snoop. I owe you one. Cancel that concert tickets. Oh, what is this? Another soldier acting like an inflatable decoy. Here's Grandpa's... Oh, there was a proximity theory on camping. You don't learn anything. Okay, you're not going to have a 8KD or something like that if you're a beginner. The only way to learn is to run around the map, look at the places where people congregate, learn how to shoot, that sort of thing, just camping. Like there was a, there was a guy that was in every corner on this map and another map during the day. Camping's not going to teach you anything. You're not going to learn the game. And you're not a better player. Just because you're able to kill people who run past you doesn't improve your play style in the least. If you're just going to... Oh, what? Like that. If you're just going to camp in free-for-all, play multiplayer. You have more opportunity to... Really, to shoot at people and you have support. So you don't die as often. But sitting in the corner doesn't doesn't do anything for you. And if you get a high kill death ratio, it's a false it's a false ratio. It's not an indicator of your skill. That's my theory, like it or not. And really it doesn't help the game. Look at there, boy, grandpa felt like Rambo. Just one more kill and I couldn't find it. But it's a Snickers win. Hey, you got to try the snub no bat snub news. That's easy for me to say. Basilisk. It is just absolutely awesome. It is fun. It is trolly. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Peace. <laughs>